Hello and welcome back. This is the Siberian here, and we are back with episode 19 of the Austria campaign. Would you believe it? 19 episodes. It's now 1748. And yeah, things are are going all right. We're going to have to deal with a lot of Prussians in the near future. Um, but other than that, things are going well. I've played a few terms since the last episode. No big battles happened, just a couple small other resolves. Uh, we are besieging Warsaw, which is Poland's last little spot. So hopefully we can wipe Poland off the map and then move with this army. And I moved Otto or Oscar up. So we have Oscar, we have Traub, Frederick Traub. He just got this trait, the drunken trait, which means minus two morale, which is unfortunate, but still, he's still a good general. We'll let it slide. No, I think I'm at my line infantry limit. And this army is pretty large. Maybe I'll get some more artillery. What do we have for artillery here? Five pieces. That's actually quite a bit. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to hold off and just see what I can build. Uh, vineyard. And then repair this stuff. And then I believe after this end turn, we are going to get a battle here. But first things first, let's attack the Prussians. They have a larger force. Actually, let's let them attack us. All right, we'll hold there and let them attack us. If we're successful, we'll march both over and then we'll try and take Saxony. I think that's the plan. So I will see you after the end turn, or maybe in the middle if they attack. Oh boy. Spain, you're no help. Everybody's just piling in to attack me. Oh gosh, that's a big army too. Oh, I'm going to have to quickly reinforce Venice. Oh boy. And here we have the the Polish battle. Frederick Traub deploys nearly, just barely under 2,000 troops, facing off just barely over 2,000 troops under the command of Radislaw Lichars. Uh, he doesn't have a great army, but it's not the worst either. So without further ado, let us jump into the battle. All right, here we are with the smoking Warsaw Fort in the background. And the Polish forces lined up below it. Oh my goodness. Oh, we managed to get a really good hit, even with our fortifications covering. Focus their artillery. Why are you withdrawing? Those cowards. Alright, so what have we? We have some disposable militia. Not disposable, but... I don't mind as much if they die. Alright, we're gonna hide this line infantry behind some cover. Run the militia up. Yes, very good. Come on, get your volleys off. Got a couple. Reform the lines. Yeah. 
Execution. Got a couple of our own cavalry over on that flank. Got a reserve. Maybe I'll fill the reserve in here. Right, into place, man. Man, we're not having much luck with our artillery. Maybe we'll... Run our cav and then... Oh. They're definitely being aggressive. Let's see. Are you guys firing? Come on. Sometimes they get a little glitchy. Oh, that guy was stuck on a fence. Nice, that was a good hit. Oh, they got a good charge there. Let's uh, move up the regulars. Oh, just shoot him. Come on. Ugh. That's really irritating. Cav, even though they're depleted, is doing the Lord's work. All right, I'm gonna leave. Our militia has held on for a nice long time, but I do believe they're going to need to fall back on the devil. Hopefully without breaking. And our regulars can take the place. Oh. Looks like we may have caused a bit of a chain route. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can do with this. All right, regulars advance. Militia, you're gonna be a kind of a reserve. Rest of the regulars. You guys hold your fire. Also, sorry if I'm not sounding as enthusiastic. I am just under the weather, feverish, sweating through my clothes right now, so. Might not be the most enthusiastic playthrough you've ever seen, but I'm I'm doing the best I can. All right, let's form up. All right, we're just gonna make sure none of these guys reform. So I got a square and some guys shooting at us. It's a line infantry and a line infantry left.
Definitely not my cleanest battle, but I haven't been playing for a while, so a little rusty. That's all right. That's all right. Good, broken, broken. All right. Oh, one of my cab units broke. It's all right. You did your duty. Let's see some nice volleys here. With the smoking Warsaw in the background. Return fire, men. Ooh, a little short. But if we move up just a hair, it'd be enough to get some very good volleys. Also, the smoke is looking glorious right now. Like somebody different. Yeah. Glory. Glory, glory, hallelujah. We're just going to tear this unit up to pieces. Oh, wait. Let's get some grenadiers. Give them an attack. Oh, they're way far away. Alright, that's one unit down. Gonna rush forward with the rest of our troops. Yes, nice. Taking some casualties. Going to each form up and give them a volley, they're gonna melt away. Oof. Heavy casualties, especially on this flank. Yes. And I think that's the day one. It is indeed. We'll see what the results of the battle are. And would you look at those beautiful results. Only 500 of the enemy remaining. We lost about 360. That's not bad. It turned out much better than I expected. We killed about three and a half for every one of ours. Very nice. We'll see after this end turn what happens if we should assault the Prussians, or if we should continue to let them come to us, or if they're going to get more reinforcements, I don't know. We will see. And we have done it. Poland, Lithuania has been destroyed. Venice is also under siege by some militia. What do we have garrisoning it? All right, all right. Not the worst. What's here? All right, all right. I think we'll move those guys over and prepare me while let's reinforce rebuild uh, we'll do this one 
All right, so we'll repair most of Warsaw, but man, people are not happy. It's gonna take some rebellion quashing to deal with that. Meanwhile, this army is here. I dare I attack it? I dare. I do dare indeed. Let us fight the battle. 7,000 to 4,000. We are heavily outnumbered. They have lots of troops. Lots of experience or regular troops. Artillery. We have some cavalry that's good. Yikes. This might be a difficult one, but we're going to fight it. We have to defeat them somehow, you know, sometime. This is that time. All right, here we are. I figured I'd show you the whole setup process and we will go through this great battle. Hopefully it's great and not disastrous. So we have some impassable terrain here with the form of ridges on the left. That actually will severely limit our army's frontage. I'm not sure who that benefits more, though. We got a lot of uh, direct artillery, but he has plunging fire artillery. Still, I think I could plop them up on this hill. And we could get some very nice fire down. So, of course, I'm going to have... Uh, my caressiers with that artillery as a defense along with. Let's just get all the militia in one spot. Militia, that line infantry, line infantry, the regulars, grenadiers. Oh, militia, militia. All right, that's all our militia. Get some of our irregulars. All right, our irregulars are going to be our initial screen. Our regulars. I'm going to put the grenadiers with the artillery. Regulars are also going to go with the artillery. And general. Meanwhile, we're going to scream with uh, the irregulars and back them up with the militia. Hopefully, they don't have too much cav uh, going on because that won't turn out well. But without further ado, let's see what we have in front of us. That's a lot of cav. All right, his artillery is prepared on that left flank. That's not necessarily good news, but it also means we can potentially flank around. So artillery is focusing on these guys. So if they're gonna focus on something, I'd rather have them focus on that than my line infantry. You know, put these guys here. So here's the plan. We're going to march along and then roll through the town down the ridge because this seems to be where the bulk of their defenses are. Meanwhile, these guys are just going to scooch forward a bit. I'm going to hold my militia lines where they are. We'll see how this works. They have a lot of troops. We are taking some fire here. Already lost nine. Oh, 12 troops. Oh, 13. Oh, wow. 16 troops. 
They are spread out more, which is nice. So they're taking less than they would. They're taking a lot of batteries of artillery fire. Oh, they are countering my moves. All right, on the double now, infantry. All right, didn't see that coming. Hmm. All right, you guys don't fire yet. One volley's fine. After you get in position. Nice. All right, once the artillery's in position, we actually can turn that flank pretty easy, I think. This one is looking a little dangerous. Hate to give up that hill, but there'll be others. Are they gonna try and charge? That'll be devastating. Yeah. Man, these are brave Prussians marching forward to their deaths. Oh, and there they break. Let's keep moving that. All right, we have one artillery piece ready. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You gotta kill that calf. That's not good. Don't fire on our friendly troops. Okay. We beat off that cavalry, so we can go ahead. Pull these guys back. Set these ones on fire at will again. Sorry for the macro level, that's just easiest way to keep control. All right, our skirmishers are back on the flank now. All right, let's get our artillery up and running. And target that one. Fall back a bit there, guys. All right, General. Survey from the ridge. All right, these guys are now my reserves. They seem to be doing all right. They are definitely going to push this center, though. I might... Yeah, here they come. All right. I'm sorry, Pandora's, but you're going to have to hold on as long as you can. Right, these ones go this way. All right. I think we're moving on this flank. The artillery, man, did a trick. Did the trick. Oh, drive the grenadier, yes I do. Get that line.
Oh, that's a unit right there. Wow, the Pandora's held on. Against the Amazons. That's funny. Now that's some good fencing right there. Alright, fall back, fall back. All right, that's a great little break we got going. Advance up. All right, so far we haven't had too much trouble. We seem to be holding our own. They've kind of trickled into an attack on us piecemeal. Uh, we've had to do a lot of shifting about. So I'm sure our guys are going to get tired. Active, fresh, winded. Fresh, tired. So, not too bad. These guys are tired. So I might make them a reserve on this flank. After this unit is defeated. Which, it's shaken and being targeted by a lot of artillery, so. Alright, you guys. Skirmish on the flanks. You can go there. Let's see. Just plop you in the gap, I guess. Actually, you're with this group. Taking the low road. Advance. Wavering. Couple good hits by my artillery. They're just like on this little ridge. My artillery has trouble hitting them. They should break soon regardless. Man, Prussian foot. Very brave. Marching into battle like it's nothing. Uh oh. All right, we got cavalry on that flank. Shoot the calf. Come on. Don't shoot your buddies, though. Hopefully that general doesn't die. Oh, looks like we broke that line. I'm gonna go ahead and let these guys rest up. This unit should break real soon as well. Let's help it along. All right, we found some enemy pikemen. Oh, we saw off the calf. 
Wow. That was tough, but we did it. Alright, send more irregulars to this flank. Continue pushing. Oh. Fire on them. Yes. Man, these militia are holding firm like a stone wall. Oh, that's why. I was going to say, we have such a great position on them. There's a ridge blocking all my bullets. Oh, there we go. That was a good hit. Alright, artillery. wonder if you can hit the enemy artillery. Aye, indeed. It's actually target... Well... Yeah. What do we got? Uh oh. They reformed. I oh, know, is this a new unit? No, I think it's the same. Light Dragoons. Looks like we've swept this side. Let's take the ridge. All right, you're winded now. General, stay close. All right. All right, let's see off the pikemen. Come on. Oh, we did lose one of our generals. Otto. I think he was a new one. We killed Dietrich. All right, pull that one back. Oh. All right, let's push this last pocket of resistance in the trees. All right, we got some enemy grenadiers coming. Let's form up to face those. Oof, that pathfinding. Alright, artillery, don't get any friendly fire, please. Alright, you guys have run chasing them long enough. These guys steady under fire. Oops, forgot to set those ones on fire at will. Alright, let's move up the cab. See what we can do with that. Fire on the grenadiers, men. Yes, very good. Alright, we finally 
finally got them from the trees. Means I can take them myself. I'm actually going to move the cab down here. I think it'll be more useful. Alright, we got a militia unit getting mobbed by all those peasants, but holding on. I'm actually going to move my arty forward. Not getting very many hits. Oh, they got broken. Got a regiment of horse over here. Some militia. All right, see these guys off. There we go. Ooh, but that unit is down to just 36 poor men. It's a rough job. Active, active. Fresh and active. All right, that's good. We're going to have to beat a few more of those attacks back. Uh-oh. Here comes some calf. Where are these guys? Alright, run. Oh, uh, no. They call off their calf charge? No, there it is. Uh oh. Let's put our guys in the safety of their thing. Uh oh, don't charge. Be on guard mode. Shoot the horses. Oh, good. All back, man. Oh, they're going to get caught on their own spikes. We got the grenadiers charged us. Let's counter charge. Break our square. We did it. Saw those devils off. No, all of you be on guard mode. Uh oh. We got some pipes to us. I think we'll win that without a problem, no? All right, we're going to reorder our militia. Like that. Boom.
But all right, we're gonna have the cannons. One by one, they are falling back. Yeah, that'll do. They are reforming their lines to face my new flanking assaults. Ooh. What's that going for? No! Not the horsemen. Ah! That'll be painful. Let's uh, move these guys off to the side. Go there. Oh, I never did move the artillery. Oh well. I don't think we need them at this point. Wow, this is taking a long time to fight this battle. All right. There we four men. We'll go ahead and plop it into a higher gear. Ooh. Doesn't really like that. Maybe I won't. All right, they're trying to run up to their cannons. Very brave, but futile. I'm gonna put my irregulars into the woods at the double. Ooh. Regiment of horse. Oh yeah. Knocking out those cannon crews. Sorry about the plane going by overhead. All right, up another. Uh-oh, I didn't catch that. Oh, they broke, and ours broke. Could have been worse. All right, everybody's disorganized. Let's charge them in. Nice, the heavy cav for the win. Move up. On the double. Oh, uh, yeah, heavy cab is absolutely tearing them to pieces. What's left? They just have that calf there. Ah. Uh. 
All right, well. Let's uh, unlimber, set him to fire on this. I was kind of thinking you'd shoot at him, not charge him, but whatever. Already fire coming in. Come on, wavering. Broken. That's all of their army, right? Oops. Yes, that is the end of the battle. Let us check out the results after I run down these last few. And here we are with the results of the battle. Wow. We killed nearly 4,000, nearly our full forces numbers. Uh, we did lose near a, a quarter of our troops, a little over a quarter of our troops. However, we definitely killed more than we lost. Yeah, those guys did well. Look at that militia. Yeah, we got a good mix of kills overall. Very good. Let's see what that does for our situation. This army now is much weaker than it previously was. We gained the Master Gunner trait. Oh, a new town emerged. Cool. Oh, that's a tempting target. But... I think we shall end it here. Uh with our victorious battle. I think next time might be our last one. So I'll make it a little longer and it, uh, more edited so we get a little bit more filled in there. But I, I think we just need to end this Austria series and start a new one with one of our updated factions. Oh, Prussia took Copenhagen. And Riga. Ah, interesting. But with that said, I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, hit the like. Um, feel free to comment what I should do next, what campaign you would want to see next, whether it's Russia, Denmark, Nor uh, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, or Poland, Lithuania. I'm leaning towards Denmark just because it's a custom faction. But whatever you guys want. Um, and yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed. I will catch you on the next video. Until then, hopefully I feel better. Hopefully you stay good. And I will see you later. Bye.